what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast. This is the Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2 Weekly Reviews. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Justin. Hey, guys. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right, so episode two. So we kind of left off last, the very last part of last episode where we had everyone in the jail trying to contemplate whether or not they should be helping Aaron. Well, it turns out they should because we're all screwed anyway, so why not? Um, and then, I don't know, it just, and then it goes back to that fight with, uh, with Aaron versus Reiner and, um, the other Titan that, whose name I forgot, but, um, the Jaw Titan. Yeah, Porco. But, like, Wait, or Galliard. Galliard. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it was Either, either way, either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember <laughs> their names, but, like, it's, it seemed like Aaron was, like, losing a, a lot in the first, last week's episode, mm-hmm. but now it's like, whoa, just suddenly turn around with his... Yeah, turning of ties with, uh, with his abilities and stuff with the Warhammer. I almost called it the Jackhammer, but yeah, it's the Warhammer <laughs> power. I got you covered. Yeah. Yeah. Carrying my sorry ass this week. All right, man. Doing a fantastic but, job. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, and then, I guess, the big surprise, which I guess wasn't too surprising, is, just is you know, Zeke finally makes it over to, mm-hmm. to where they are. Yay! So... I mean, it's kind of obvious that, like, this is what's going to have to happen for for Aaron to get out. Actually, I didn't realize that, like, everyone's making a big fuss this episode about, like, making and getting in contact with Aaron and Zeke. I didn't realize, like, are they actually planning to do the rumbling, like, right here, like, right now? Yeah, I think um... it's just, like, I don't know if they'd, I can't recall if they'd had, like, a set plan for exactly when this was all going to go out. But I think because Reiner had convinced Marley to get into Paradise as soon as possible because he kind of was trying to, I mean, he um thought alongside them for so long i think that he kind of had a good inside idea into what they were going to do and he thought that throw him off right justin isn't that right that i think so kind of how to push um, everything up yeah i mean it's definitely a thing of like you have a, a limited timeline to work with mm-hmm. and so that's the kind of whole like purpose of you know marley's kind of final stand here of like if they don't stop aaron and um zeke coming together basically it's it's gg you know so i'm, I'm actually, actually yeah, i'm kind of surprised like they they feel that way, I guess. I guess because I always assume like Marley has such more resources. We have, you know, more more soldiers, more like weapons and stuff. I guess they're just really afraid of the Titans and like, and no, definitely they're definitely like, losing that grasp of the Titan power. Exactly. So it's like if what the events that conspired with like Willie, like rallying all the other world's nations to stand against, you know, Paradis and the quote unquote devils of the island. Like Marley would have a huge target on its back because they would recognize that, you know, they were starting to fall behind if, in terms of like the great, the larger scale of like oh, other nations okay. and stuff. Because the Titans were a great power, but then, you know, technology got more advanced. Titans weren't as, you know, all encompassing as a military I, I, threat as. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that makes sense why like they're so desperate to to go now because we're only seeing the perspective of paradis whereas like paradis is just still like you know it's just still like, feel like a small militia against an empire so mm-hmm. i'm like mm-hmm. i was so i was just surprised like like why is marley feels so desperate when it seems like they have more of an advantage but that makes actually makes more sense in context so well thanks, all Justin. of their history too i mean they really um I can't think of the phrase that I want to use, but they really drill it in to Marleyans that, you know, <laughs> Eldians ruined the world. They are capable of ruining the world again. Like that, that just seems to be a really constant theme. So it's very hmm. fresh on their minds. Yeah. They're an easy so, black sheep to mm-hmm. point the focus of all the other nations to kind of get the heat off them in the moment of while they figure out like, okay, how do they make sure that Marley still kind of, you know, will survive in this new world or well, not a new world, but it's in the ever shifting ever like evolving like nations like military powers technology like all these things i, I guess have, um i was just gonna say i have this uh burning desire to just shed light on these people that were in this episode i don't know if you were called i laughed threaten and i laughed when uh when mikasa and armin and friends were chatting down in the in the jail cells mm-hmm. and there was that random group of people that was behind them <laughs> that was just like after like all of this intense dramatic you know, back and forth. This this random group of people is like, could we go now? 
Oh, oh it's not, it's not, it's not random people. That's uh, Sasha's yeah. family. Yeah, no, that's oh, Sasha's it? family. Sasha? Yeah, that's that's, okay. that's the blouse yeah. family, and then that's the like orphans that they adopted. <laughs> that's my I, bad. Yeah. I was kind of zoning it out and focusing on the other stuff, and then I just saw yeah, them. Right. It, it is funny. No, gone. yeah, because they were back there at the end of episode one, just standing there with like them and uh, Niccolo, and then uh, yeah. yeah, having them again when you know they're having this epic moment of them all going up the the stairs out of the jail and you know beginning kind of their uh retaliation or assistance for for aaron um yeah, and corrected it was still funny though even if at the context mm-hmm. it's like, it funny no it, it definitely was it's just I mean, like it's hey uh, we're kind of hungry no. like we go eat now and it's just like yeah go, go get out of here like <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like hey i've been turned to a cow now can i go <laughs> your excuse yeah right but, um I want. I just want to bring up the fucking Yelena and her fucking creepy face oh when she, when they were talking to Armin. Manga readers have been waiting for this. Oh yes. my god! <laughs> you know, everybody who's read the manga knows this face. The thing well, too, it's just and... like like it was like a cutout to that moment, like out of nowhere. Because I, I don't mm-hmm. know, they were, like Armin was talking to like Mikasa and John, and then out of nowhere, just like just camera just goes up to her face. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and and I actually had to remember like the full details of that scene from the manga and the way that you you know kind of to your point, David, that John and Mikasa acted. It is almost like you felt like you know yelling had pulled like a gun or something on armin mm-hmm. and then you just pan to you know her evil like stank intimidation face That's a crazy face <laughs> and, on yeah and you know then uh you know seconds after she just puts on this super happy cheerful face like okay you guys want to help zeke i'm cool with that um i remember I was, when i first oh sorry, yeah go ahead, no 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 go ahead go ahead I was just going to say, I remember when I first read the manga, the very first thing I did, it actually made me jump because I was so, you like turn the page and then it's there. Mm-hmm, yep. And I was like, oh God. And I remember just taking a, a screen cap of it, sending it to one of my best friends who reads the manga. And I was like, mm-hmm. this Jinji Ito motherfucker. <laughs> like that's yeah, exactly right? what that expression it, looked like. And it was I deployed know. in the same way. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that I don't know, like if Isayama, the author has ever like given any like insight as to why he decided to draw her face in that fashion. <laughs> I know there have been like other panels from the manga that kind of are plays on like famous like memes and stuff. Like I think there's some Titans really? that have like I, meme faces. I didn't, and yeah. I didn't know there's, that. Uh, there's an infamous one of uh, from a few seasons ago when they're talking about uh, Erwin's dad as a school teacher when they're showing like the room of like students in the classroom. I think that's where it's from. But there's like this one kid that's like furiously scribbling with like his mouth open. And it's basically based off like a meme image. So um i didn't know that i I don't know yeah i don't know if like that's just him like being quirky in that instance or um i also don't know if it's like yelena's just a very like quirky individual herself as well and her like burning passion and love for zeke so i almost feel like it could have been one of those things too where um i'm probably stretching a little bit here but um you know, the fact that this is Zeke's return and, and Yelena is just so excited to have him back and she wants to help him, you know, however she can. And in this instance, like there really isn't much I feel like she personally can do. And so I feel like when uh, Armin, John and uh, Mikasa like come up and they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to help, you know, Zeke and Aaron because, you know, it's not the best option, but it's it's what we can do in this time. And I, and I feel like in a way that maybe Yelena was kind of ticked off by that. Because, Mm -hmm. you know, she obviously does not like these groups of individuals because they Mm -hmm. stood against Aaron in the first part. Um, So I feel like that was something of like she being pissed off to like, how the fuck are you guys going to help Zeke? Like, I want to be the one helping Zeke. So for Armin to say something like that, she's just like, hey, little shit. Like, yeah, I'm not going to stand for this, but like, okay, you know. (laughs) Some weird, yeah. quirky thing. I don't know. <laughs> that makes sense to me. I mean, when I was conjecturing earlier, I kind of thought that she's unhinged enough that if she'd heard some, the, like overheard them saying they weren't going to help Aaron or do something against him, she might have just tried to like kill him right there. You know? Yeah, right. That, crazy. that could be the thing too. She's just a lunatic, essentially. <laughs> I mean, but, um, honestly, I don't really care much about Yelena, so like, I can, <laughs> I'll let you guys <laughs> take care of that. Like, just all of that stuff. I don't really care much about her. So mm-hmm. I like, I mean, that 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 frame really caught me off guard, but that was just it. Like, I don't really care yeah. what happens to her, honestly. Um, so, other than that, um, before getting to, like the later parts of the episode, I also really enjoyed the uh, the soundtrack in in this week's episode, um, especially when. Um, 
they've you know g- gotten out of the cells and they're, and they're going and you know opening the the cells for all of the uh, military police so we see Chattis again we see um pixies and, and, and some other folks um but when the ost really kicked in for me was when um mikasa is getting ready and putting on her 3d maneuver gear uh, i'm pretty sure it's a sawano track that starts playing at that time but oh man like definitely go back and give it a second listen um but it's just like pure all hype. Right. It's like all of them are getting yes. ready and then they're walking up the stairs like out into the open. And man, I just felt like not to be cliche or anything, but I felt like a little mini like Marvel's Avengers moment of like Mikasa, oh. John, Connie and all of them just like, all right, we got to come in. We got to We got to save our boy, even though he's, you know, a little bit off his rocker. Like he's still our boy at the end of the day. So we'll do what we can. But I'll have well, to go back and rewatch t- that because mm-hmm. I didn't know t- it at all. <laughs> you're gonna be disappointing me too, too, <laughs> Justin. Because again, I don't know a soundtracks in anime, so I didn't know anything in this. Mm-hmm. So just still for the soundtrack. No, it's a little, so. a little small thing, and it's, it's it's not like a long like running soundtrack. I think it only lasts in total for like that fifteen to like twenty twenty five seconds. Um, but I definitely noticed on it with just, like the pianos, the strings, and then like a little bit of drum and bass mixed in. So I was just like, ah. Here's our boy Sawano. Here's here's he's coming in. Just just reminding us, you know, he's still here. He's do, still putting out good I stuff. I do want to give for... a shout out. I want to give a shout out to that, that. Yeah, that the scene where they're coming up the stairs, just them for. Because like mm-hmm. usually in shows like this, you get the power creep. Where it's like you know, if you're not a Titan, you might as well be useless. But here it's like actually, you know, these these people like you know besides, besides Armin because he's he is a Titan. But like these other regular humans, they actually do matter. Like they can actually take down a Titan. And, mm-hmm. and they're also fighting military too. So it's like, wow, like you know, these everyone besides like the super powered piece actually matters in the show. So that's really nice. They're really this far, like they still like you still can count on them to like to 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 do something to do work. So that's nice. definitely yeah, exactly. That is nice. They're not just cannon fodder, even though a lot of them do end up being cannon fodder. You know, there's some that they can actually do shit. You know, not, you don't just I got some you're confidence. Not, they're, not, they're not just there just for like just for to watch. The Titans fight and can cut into them. Be yep. like, oh no! <laughs> yeah, getting like you know ripped this, apart being, by being bullets the, the commenta- and boulders being and the everything. Commentators, like in DVZ. <laughs> yep, exactly, so, exactly. So that was nice. So yeah, yeah. That's, then... well, that's one thing I always really liked about the series, just because I remember when it first started out and it seemed like Aaron was going to be really important, and obviously he's the MC, and I was like, how overpowered is this guy going to be? And then he kind of, you know, he's never really he. He is important, but I would not say that he's oh, like overpowered or that he like way overshadows everybody else. I think the balance of power throughout the show is really well deployed, and that's kind of mm-hmm. hard to find sometimes. So, yeah, I agree with you guys. No, totally, totally agree with that. Um, and then yeah, I think like once you know those like series of scenes happens and like we get kind of this uh like preparation of retaliation from like. Armin and Mikasa and all of them. Then it does a really good job of f- focusing back on, um, you know, the Marley inside, where we take a look at um, Gabby finally reuniting with um, with Cole. Well, I guess that happened last episode, but more so them reuniting and talking about, you know, the need to to find Falco and kind mm-hmm. of, um, you know, figure things out as like chaos is just unfolding all around of them. Um, one of the things that I also really liked in in this week's episode was the relationship that we got to see between. Um, Falco and uh, I believe his name's Niall. Yeah, he's like the is. head of yeah. like either the military police or the garrison. Mm-hmm. Um, and just seeing the humanity between like the both of them of just realizing, you know, like this war is <laughs> not, you know, causing any like solutions for anyone. And like mm-hmm. Niall kind of, you know, talks about how he's, you know, fearful of, of not getting to see his family and especially his daughters anymore. And then Falco, you know knowing that he's ingested Zeke's blood as well and not knowing, you know, his days are, are potentially limited. Mm-hmm. Um, so that whole just like collection of scenes. And then finally, when when they do get to reunite, when Niall takes Falco away and just kind of gives him back to Colton, Gabby, mm-hmm. I was just like, damn now, like, you're a good dude. Okay. Like, you're A-OK in my book. Yep, I can't remember hard. how you die, if you die. But <laughs> if you do, I hope I hope it, I hope it's quick. <laughs> I was going to say, it's funny you mentioned that, like with, with Falco, because like, they're trying to do the same thing with Gabby, but people just aren't buying it. Like the fandom just hates Gabby so much. Yeah. So like that's, that's a tough battle she, to get people to like was, Gabby. <laughs> she was having her 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 humanity moment there too, where she realized that she's been brainwashed and propaganda against. But like, I guess it's just too late for her in the eyes of fans. Because everyone <laughs> just hates her. Like I, mean, I don't. I'm not like, like Sasha. I don't. I don't like have a strong hate for Gabby. So yeah. 
I don't really, I don't really care either what happens, but it's like it's just funny. That, like people just really hate Cavi. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah. I kind of agree with you there. I mean, I never like love Gabby, you know, at any point. It's not like, oh God, she's my favorite character or, oh, I'm she's not, so I'm cool. Not, oh, I'm so like, happy to see her again. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not like, I'm not like, you know, bring out the torches and pitchfork every time she's on screen yeah. or anything. She's so. just a little kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's I mean, a product yeah. of her environment. Honestly, yeah. And now she's finally realizing like, yeah, things aren't right. And she, you know, she has that, that key line of like, she understands how Reiner feels. Not fully, but she gets the, the larger picture of like, you know, it's not us and them like it is, you know, humans at the end of the day fighting for like their own kind of propagandas and ideologies that for the people directly on the battlefield, there's a lot of losers. It's not, you know, yeah, and, exactly. and then just 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 to clarify to Taylor, the when when the Browse family were walking by. And like, and yeah, we want to talk to him. That's because they just escaped the, the, the jail cell. Yeah, you know what, David? <laughs> I knew that was them. It, okay. It comes full circle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I will say, I was, uh, for individuals that aren't fond of Gabby, I'm sure they're very fond of uh, Kaya than the uh, blonde haired girl that, you know, as oh, yeah. Gabby's like thinking, like, oh, yeah, we can reunite with them. Like, you know, this will be good to, you know, get reunited. And then Kaya walks by and just like, Ma'am, fuck that, that bitch. bitch. He killed Sokka. Dude. Like, I'm a fucking killer. And I Gabby's I just like sitting there, like, oh, yeah. I kind of did do even, that. <laughs> I can't even remember her name. So, shout out to you, Justin. Uh, who was, yeah. uh, so I was going to ask, like, who was the other blonde girl next to Kasa when she was getting the, the 3D gear on? That's she, a good question. I remember she I was shown know. earlier. I, I think she was, she, she's part of the Jaegerists, obviously, because she was the one that when they first got detained, she had like walked up to the cell to talk to Mikasa and was kind of just like fangirling really, over Mikasa. Exactly. Clothes from your drawer when you're not looking. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, I just feel okay. like she has like a little uh, like voodoo doll of like Mikasa that she <laughs> I, just, you know, like puts under her pillow I, at night. I, I, I thought that was like, I thought that like the, it was like Historia at first. It's like, but I was like, no, it can't be her. It just like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I mean, Historia. I don't Dude, like a lot of a lot of the blonde girls in the show just look the same, like Historia, Annie, Kaya, and the, the blonde girl next to Mikasa. Like I get them all mixed up. So yeah. okay, her her name's Louise. I'm, I'm looking her on the the wiki right now. I get, um, I get them all mixed up. So like, I how'd you even Google for that girl who's obsessed with Mikasa? No, I uh, I Googled <laughs> for the um the chapter that okay. uh this Fair. episode's based on. Fair. Um, okay. I feel like I'm just reading real quick here. I feel like she does have some connection because I think she was looking through this and this is just bad memory on my end. Um, she is saved by Mikasa at some point during like one of the previous battles oh, in Attack was, on uh, Titan. The flashback when um the when uh was it like the first season whatever when they broke the wall um uh, and then like I think they were trying to escape and Mikasa like saved saved her when she was a kid or whatever mm-hmm. yeah she was like next, next i just to, read that like, now yeah she was like Seriously? next to the cart she was next to the cart that was like run by the the corrupt merchant oh, whatever. Yeah, the reeves That's company right. yep yep i'm yeah, reading that like literally yeah. line for uh, line so you got good memory david you remember oh well, I, 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 just, I remember we brought it up last season like how about like reed and whatever and then like and then i remember oh like she's the, the girl that i got saved from reed's like because reed's company blocked the the entrance whatever mm-hmm. so yeah you guys have a exactly. scary good memory. I'm very impressed. I mean, hey, I'm, I, I have the wiki pulled up here, so I, is, I have an amazing memory by all means now with a, my best friend, Control F. Um, yes. But yeah, so, so it was it was nice seeing, I guess, kind of that uh, relationship between. I mean, if you even want to call that in the sense of when Mikasa is getting ready and, you know, Luis is asking her like, oh, are you going to take that scarf with you? And she's just like, no, I won't. But it's like you also know, like Mikasa really wants to still take that scarf with her. So. She, half of her brain cells are still back in that room thinking about that yep. scarf. Like exactly, like, still oh, there shit. exactly. Anybody touches that, <laughs> I'm killing them. So, um, but no, getting back to to Kaya and all them, like you know, when Gabby, Colt, and Falco are, are sitting in the, in the house, kind of you know hiding. Um, yeah, it's a realization for all of them. I feel like it's explicitly for both Falco and Gabby, where, you know, Gabby is saying, like, she can say, understand Ryan's really... thoughts. She can, you know, understand that things aren't as black and white as she saw. And then more so for Falco, you know, again, just tying to the fact that Falco's ingested Zeke's spinal fluid, like he just pours his whole heart and soul out. And this is like the whole confession <laughs> to Gabby and also confessing that he was the one that, 
really fucked things up by, you know, working with who he didn't know was Aaron at the time and delivering the letters between what Aaron was writing to, you know, his um his Jaeger's faction back on Paradis. I was going to say, um, for, Fal- for Falco's brother, does he really understand as much as, like, as the two no. kids? Because he not really been there. Yeah. No, definitely also, not. Mentioned- and, and the fact of him being naive in a sense still of, like, thinking that, you know, oh, Falco is ingested with Zeke's food. Like, oh, Zeke won't do anything. So we'll have to see kind of what happens, right? Well, yeah, yeah that's one thing that hit me kind of hard this episode that didn't really... Um, hit me too hard when I was reading the manga because I was just going through it so quickly the first time, um, which was that, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, let's get Falco to Zeke. Zeke will surely, you know, do something to help uh, him. Like, I don't really like, I'm just that. There remembering, yeah, like, all right. Oh, That's a lot of blind faith me. being put into, uh, you know, as Mag- Magdeth calls him in this episode, the Wonder Boy. And now the Wonder Boy yeah. just like fully against them, you know, ripping the blimps to shred. And that's actually one of the other things I wanted to quickly touch on is um, one of the scenes that, at least for me, is kind of, not like iconic per se but just like a direct like relation to yelena is when she's standing upon the tower wall and she just has like her arms spread open as like all of the blimps are just like blown up and falling down from zeke's like volley of uh of rocks and stuff like it's a pretty badass scene and mappa again you know did a phenomenal job so far with just making sure that all the points that matter in the manga are getting adapted properly again like if there's any cgi i can't tell so i'm not the person to ask about. oh no and that's another thing too i think they did a really good job with Mm -hmm. um zeke's like like focused face like you could tell Mm -hmm. a lot of it is hand drawn this time like yes they still have to lean to when like a lot of action is happening doing like a blend of cgi but I haven't noticed it to your point either, David, really at all. It's, yeah, it's I, been I don't, really I don't, I don't notice. Hey, I was the guy in the first season who like, or last year, I didn't notice any the CGI that people were complaining about. So I'm not the guy <laughs> to ask about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. So, and then, um, I guess like majority of the episode was basically just like trying, Aaron trying to drag himself to, to, um, uh, Zeke. to Zeke. So yeah. <laughs> actually, I, I, I forget because I, I forgot like the whole purpose with them being up. So I was, I was thinking, oh, like, Aaron, why aren't you going to eat Ragnar right there? You just take his powers. And I realized, oh, wait, you probably don't have time for this. It's like you got to get to Zeke mm-hmm. and do whatever. And then surprise, we didn't see more of like of like Mikasa and everyone else trying to like help out. Like I surprised they got, they got more resistance than I thought from the soldiers. Yeah. It seemed like it seemed like Zeke was like just turning everything around. But mm-hmm. um no, well, yeah. Everybody will play their part next episode. It'll pop off. Everybody will get their screen time. <laughs> yeah, they definitely set it up for that. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah. although I'm, I'm, think... I'm surprised Zeke fell for the bait of of uh, Peak, like just like taking off like the the Titan form and just like having the the shell the or whatever. Yeah, yeah the carcass. I, I'm, it 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 seemed very obvious. So I'm surprised he he fell for it. He didn't like think seem to think that like. Yeah, I would agree be, with that. As someone who's been like touted as like a military kind of prodigy and everything well especially it definitely doesn't align didn't in season three yeah it was in season three when they went back to um oh, oh what is the name of aaron's hometown shiroga oh uh shiganshia shiganshia yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um anyways they go back there and that's where they have that whole big showdown um where aaron has to harden to fill up that gap in the wall and then later on they have like that whole battle with um where they're trying to kill bertolt and Mm -hmm. they use that same tactic you know what i mean i guess zeke wasn't like on that side paying attention to that quite as much but just by he should should know too because the more more recent example is remember in um last season when they go to marley and they basically fake zeke's death when Levi like throws the C4 yeah, on the call. on the beast body and stuff. So Zeke knows that you can, you know, basically faint yeah. leaving a carcass. I mean, I'll bet his wasn't like a full skeletal form, but maybe that's just something that's like different for um Peak as well, part of her like cart titan. That's all right. I mean, Zeke just came out of a near very near death experience. So maybe he's Roop, just not very true too. there yet, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's just <laughs> laser focused on getting to Aaron. Yeah. Although, As he said, big when, brothers here. It's time to time to reunite. When when like when Flock showed up and like they're about to get ambushed, I was so hoping that he'd be the one that he got just shot, get domed. Yeah. No. no. <sighs> the Flock fans. Well, he lives. He lives another you guys, day. You guys live another day, but oh god, we'll see. I, don't I still want to see that man off. be taken out. I don't want to. <laughs> I can't Flock stand fans. him. I can't stand him. <laughs> I know. I basically am them, and I support Aaron, but I I hate his supporters. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. 
It's just like, oh, I like it's the like, main dude, but you, you just you get in the corner over there. Like, you can exist, but, like, not in the, you know, not in the spotlight by oh, any means. I was going to say, too, I'm surprised when um, when they did the anti-Titan cannon and, like, it, it hit, it looked like it hit, like, a Zeke's shoulder, but then, like, I guess, I, I guess I guess it must have been painful. I, didn't, I don't know. It just seemed like, I guess, I thought, like, if you were, like, didn't get hit, like, anywhere near your head, you should be able to tank it, but I guess it must be really painful for Zeke yeah. or whatever that, 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 that anti bullet tiny mm-hmm. bullet is so no I, I agree with that because that was also like gabby had asked about what the like pipe was when she was walking around with colt and he's like oh yeah this is the new anti-titan rifle and he's like you have to be oh, sure that it like hits the, the nape of the neck yeah but like it hit the, it hit the shoulder though so no I, exactly so, yeah to your point that's like kind of like a inconsistency i feel like of it damaged him enough but yeah i think i don't know unless it wasn't, unless it wasn't unless, a bullseye yeah, unless unless you're, it's like you guys saying he just like just like came from near death experience. And he's still tired. You're not like rested up. Maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. So but, I think it just caught him off otherwise. guard. You yeah. Know? So but, another but, maybe inconsistency too, because Zeke should know that like Marley has these things. I would think so. I don't know. But, we'll have to see. Yeah. So setting up for a huge more. I mean, just basically another cliffhanger. This this episode we had one. Mm-hmm last week so literally it just ended with falco running i was like man you guys are cold you guys couldn't even just Uh, a little bit of a it just practically cut out oh that was brutal mm -hmm. for me anyways and i read the manga (laughs) so i don't know although like because was it because because yeah falco's other brother is saying oh yeah like if he hears falco maybe he'll was do you have a second thought about like using his powers to summon to for the one the spinal fluid or whatever i'm mm-hmm. but i'm just thinking like i don't know man this guy's kind of a psychopath i don't think he has that much empathy for just yeah. this little kid here and so. if you think about it too like with what just happened to him this episode he's he's kind of in a corner like you know he doesn't have much options so we'll see yeah we'll so, see so like they said they left us at a so point I, of like lots of things can happen <laughs> so like i i don't really buy that zeke would like would really care about not turning falco into a titan but i just i have this feeling that like falco just has like plot armor or something that like he won't i just have this feeling he would be the one of people who lives till the end so i i can't see him turning into a titan so i I do wonder what's gonna happen next he just he just has i don't know just based on what the show's giving me he just has that vibe like he just has plot armor Mm -hmm. so he's been a very direct character as far as we will see what happens to him later but Yeah. yeah I mean, they really went in, all in with him, like, last season, the ending. Um, when it would play, it was just all Falco all the time in the ending. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, yes, he's important. We have Yep, right? Know. They're, they're putting him in your face. Like, don't forget this man, all right? This boy. We know yeah. he's new. We know you don't care about him yet, but you should yeah. care. Yeah. So that, that's, that, that's why I'm just getting this, this, like, feeling he just has plot armor. So, so if Zeke isn't going to use, like, use his ability to turn, like people into titans and i wonder what's what's gonna happen um I, i'm expecting like i'm expecting uh reiner and jaw titan to continue to put up a fight and i wonder i'm wondering if that's when we'll see like mikasa and john and and uh Arnie God, and, him, and army Arnie, yeah. why, did, why did i forget his name it's all it's okay Man, when Connie was like talking shit about Aaron in the beginning in the cells, and I was just sitting there, I looked at Stratton, and I was like, this motherfucker like messed up so hardcore with his own home village when he found out what had happened with the Titans there. Like, mm-hmm. that guy's made some mistakes as well. <laughs> like, he needs to take a backseat. John, John can be mad. It's fine. But yeah. Con- really? Connie John had his good person. explanation, though, of how, you know, he hates Aaron, but he hates Aaron in the sense of like, he's kind of like the cool guy, you know, and, and that's what John wants to be. He wants to be the one <laughs> in the know, spotlight. I know Taylor. <laughs> Felt that way towards Connie. So. I mean, I like Connie. I just, I'm very defensive of Aaron. That's all it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Fair. Gotta stand up for him. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised John said that too. Like he was, he thought Aaron was a cool guy. I thought like, I thought Aaron like, that Aaron's just like this, just the, the hothead who just needs to like, he's, I don't know. I don't, I didn't think, besides, I guess besides like, when they finally had the Titan powers, like when he was in like, the training in Canning, where it seemed like Aaron was just like, just this random regular kid so well i think a large part of it was because when they all first joined jean had kind of a crush on mikasa and mikasa obviously only has eyes for aaron oh okay just certain things like that like early childish stuff but stuff that would i mean they were kids you know what i mean 
it just well, still was are. It, it just reminds me i think was it sasha who like you hate it was hating on john's like facial hair oh uh, yeah i think so okay <laughs> well so. that's that's all i've got for this week i'm very excited for next yeah week. It, it always goes uh, way too fast I know but that's just a sign of, you know, it's a it's a phenomenal show and it does a lot of but things. The, right. I think the pacing is still done well. So like, oh, yeah, they so cover exactly even, what they need to cover and they make sure that they're not skimping on anything of just bringing the pieces yeah. together, which is great. Mm-hmm. So like even with like the cliffhangers, like we still have good pacing. I'm still really excited for what happens next. I'm curious. Yeah, just again, again, to both Tech and Ty, you know, if we have more questions, well, hopefully you'll see some more answers like coming soon because this is supposed Mm -hmm. to be the end so just like a lot of things floating up here so we'll see if the rumbling will be coming so yes okay i'll have to beware it's all building up to a movie david (laughs) that that is true as well jesus (laughs) threaten good thank you for your contribution sir really appreciate it i try i try everybody i hope they're gonna get conclusions just a nice soft kick in the gut yeah i'm just you just head to imax in two you know a few years take it we'll take that long sir but okay so let's hope not all right we'll see we'll see cool so that's yeah i think that's all we got for for this week so we're in it here hope you guys enjoy it we'll see our discussions for EOT this final season thanks everyone for joining us thanks everyone in twitch chat I, i know some of you came in late but uh, we'll get this up uh, soon. I also enjoy talking to you guys on Discord. So thanks everyone for that. Really fun. That's all it's got to be for this week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. See ya. Bye. Thanks. Bye.